Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And it's been quite a minute since I've uh, posted a video or anything like that, just because, you know, things have been, uh, yeah, vacation, uh, family, all that type of stuff. If you guys uh, didn't catch the video, go catch it. Um, I actually uh, documented my travels. Um, and, you know, it was all done with the Pixel 10, which is an upcoming video. In the next couple of days, I'll have a video out um, just basically talking about the Pixel 10. But uh, today's a little bit different. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the Galaxy A53, an old mid-range device from Samsung that just, at least for me, recently got One UI 8, which is an Android 16-based and the update came in uh, when I got back yesterday from vacation and decided to grab the phone and check it out, see if there's anything that I know is different. And when I went and did, um, you know, a software update check, and then it showed One UI 8. Now, this was a very, very large um, update, obviously. Um, literally took like almost an hour and a half in order for it to uh, download and install on my device. And so now that it's uh, downloaded and installed, um, basically I'm just gonna be doing some tests on it, which is why I posted that I'm gonna be using mid-range devices, i.e. the uh, Pixel 9a alongside this, just to kind of like, you know, see any differences or whatever with the uh, functionality. But one thing I can say off the bat so far when it comes to the Galaxy A53 is that it has smoothed it out much, much better. Now, uh, for context, um, when installing a uh, one UI 8 Android 16 for the Galaxy A53, I went ahead and wiped the entire phone. Um, so I had to like basically re-sign back into my Google and Samsung account and basically download all my apps back onto the device after it fully booted up. So um, I guess you could say it's kind of like a clean install is what I did. And uh, yeah, so I noticed um, I don't have a micro SD card in here. I don't have, um, you know, like a lot of apps. Uh, pretty much congesting the phone, but I am going to start installing more apps today and running the phone for the full review um, on Monday. So I'll have the weekend to pretty much play around with the Galaxy A53. Currently running Helium mobile service on here, um, you know, which is another video. I got like a couple of videos I got to make today and get out for you guys. But, you know, for the most part, um, yeah. I just need to really just kind of test it out a little bit more, just kind of see how things are. But just, you know, noticeably just um, right off installing a One UI 8 on the Galaxy A53 has smoothed out a lot of things. So a lot of stuff that maybe, you know, some people may have been a bit frustrated with the Galaxy A53 and its performance on One UI 7 and even on One UI 6. Because I can tell you guys that this thing was pretty laggy on One UI 6. And it seems like that a lot of that uh, has been ironed out. But again... I only have my Baron Essential apps on this phone. I don't have a lot of apps on here, and I'm going to be doing that uh, here shortly, installing them, signing into them, and using the phone um, just to really just kind of get an idea. Like, has it really fixed a lot of the the lag issues that I've like I think myself and others have experienced on One UI 7 and even on One UI 6? Has that been fixed with One UI 8 on the Galaxy A53? Noticeably, this is the last major software update that this phone is going to get, which is kind of like odd and everything like that because the Galaxy S21 did not get One UI 8. And I think that that phone actually could have supported One UI 8. Not a problem at all. But of course, we know how these things go with these companies. Literally, all they're really about is just getting you to upgrade to the next phone because that's making you spend your cash. Technically, these phones can actually pretty much... Um, you know, serve as what they're intended to do. And um, yeah, so I just, you know, me personally, you don't always have to upgrade. <laughs> That's the thing. And so anyone that, you know, wasn't feeling like upgrading and spending a lot of money and it's kind of okay with your Galaxy A53, just know One UI 8 is available for it currently at this time. So you should be able to check in your uh, system updates, you know, go to settings. And then when you go to settings, scroll all the way down to, um, where it has software update, click on that and then click download and install and do a check for the software update for your Galaxy A53. Uh, for context, my device is technically the Boost Mobile variant, um, but it is unlocked to go on any, on any network. So I could use it on whatever I want to. But yeah, if you guys want to know exactly where the phone uh, was purchased from, it's a Boost Mobile phone. So of course, you know, like it, it has ties to Boost Mobile specifically. But yeah, you want to check your Galaxy F you know, A53 to see if you had the software update, go ahead and do that. Um, stay tuned for a video on Monday where I will go over One UI 8 and its entirety on the Galaxy A53. But until then, I'll talk to you all later. Aloha.